In today's video, we're going to be doing a proof of concept that with enough confidence, you can carry your team in LFG with simple communication. So we sent multi-rank one demon hunter MBQ into group finder with one specific goal in mind, manages partners on offense and defense through voice chat. A huge number of losses in LFG arena are caused by poor cooldown trading and uncoordinated setups. You have to make use of small kill windows with your setups while also being able to deny your opponents from doing theirs. MVQ is going to prove to you that it's possible to carry an LFG simply by managing the game with communication alone. Let's jump into some gameplay. MVQ is fighting a druid hunter with a rival priest from LFG at 2300 MMR. In this matchup specifically, you want to be extra careful about cooldown trading. Since all the pressure of a BM Hunter comes from Bestial Wrath and Freezing Trap, which means you have to budget your cooldowns for these moments. On healer. I'm a sun healer, and then you can figure out. Actually, my Okay, okay. Uh, he's done, mate. Yeah, it's he's fine. I blur, I blur, I blur. MVQ uses blur here due to Bestial Wrath being popped. It doesn't really matter too much that his healer CC. What matters most is that the Hunter popped a major offensive cooldown, which has to be countered with damage reduction. This is because his healer would have to heal through heavy damage, which would take a toll on their mana. By consistently reiterating that he's fine during the enemy team's kill windows, he makes sure his healer doesn't pull the trigger on any major defensives like Trinket or Pain Suppression. One of the worst things you can do in WoW, especially in LFG, is overlap major defensives. The kill windows in this matchup come primarily from mind games on the Druid. So MVQ starts coordinating setups with the priest mind games too. Whenever the Druid has no hots on themselves, it's a prime opportunity to do a stun swap, since Druid healing primarily comes from Cenarian Ward, which will generally only be active on one target at a time. Yeah, I'm vent here. Okay, okay, we killed Druid then. That's good. Can you mind game through here in a sec, right now? Yep. Huge. Nice it is. Online. The Hunter uses Roar of Sacrifice and Barkskin to counter our kill window. So as soon as MVQ's healer gets hit by CC, there's nothing else to do than hug the pillar. This is because with Blur and Netherwalk being on cooldown, the best play is to simply stay behind the pillar until his healer's out of CC, abusing the insane mobility demon hunters have. If you can, MC the, the Hunter, okay? Okay. Because they don't have us to spell. I mean, you cap him into a, a thing. Just MC off that. Yeah, good. Perfect. It, it doesn't have any way to deal with it. Alright, are you have to, uh, you have to do my games or no? Yeah, I uh, know. Right now. Okay, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I, I, Don't I, yet. Just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. In 10 seconds, I'm going to stun healer and you mind games out, okay? Alright. Watch yourself, whatever. You have to get the filler. You have to get the filler. I'm going to stun now and you mind games, okay? Because he kicked already. After this, after this, after this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Off this. I trigger. Mind games. Yes. Perfect, we get trinket, nice, 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 nice. And again, coordinating mind game setups with voice results in pressure that otherwise wouldn't have been possible by simply training one target. If we fast forward, putting all these concepts together of communicating the defensive and offensive plays, the druid is finally out of juice and a final kill window opens up. Perfect, good. Oh, I can still die. Yep, just land, just land. You have dome, you have dome. You can power, you can dome. A uh, power barrier? I don't have any mana. Okay. It's fine, I, I can, I can kill him. If you die. So. Nice, good job. And really quickly, if you enjoy this style of gameplay breakdown and want to learn more, this video has an exclusive companion course available only at skillcap.com. There, MVQ is going to give you a full breakdown of each game, pointing out key moments where you can carry just like a pro in LFG. Visit the link below to learn all about Skillcap and how you can gain 250 rating risk-free. Back to the video. Coordinating cooldowns is common among rank 1 teams, and Sidu is a perfect example of how this works in real gameplay. Obviously, he plays a healer, so managing his partner's cooldowns is just part of his job. 
but even as a DPS, you can take responsibility in ensuring that your team makes the best decisions when trading CDs. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Kick. Kick. Trouble here. Big, 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 big. Could be blocked. Uh, I have a big heal off this, but that's it. Okay. It's all I got. It's all I got. I might get kicked here by DH. Try another one. Yes. I can't shot too. I can hear this. I can hear this. Yeah, I can hear this. I can hear this. I'm trying to get both. Got both. Got both. Got both. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll shoot someone, I'll shoot someone. Here's reverse. Half MC, half MC, half MC, half MC. Got trigger, got trigger, got trigger. I'll shoot, I'll shoot, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Moving on to game two, MVQ is facing off against a gladiator rogue priest. In this game, we're going to highlight a similar concept using proactive communication to control the game. However, instead of managing CDs, we're going to be managing the setups. I'm going to set up fear for you and heal our hair, okay? Right now. Alright, as soon as I get dum 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 oh. oh, I, I need I need to live this. I can set up fear for you in five seconds, okay? Just keep running up priest if you can. Essentially, by setting up his teammate for CC, he ensures that the setups are coordinated and thus as strong as possible. This setup forced Rogue's evasion, even though no real major offensive CDs were used, which means next setup is going to be deadly. Optimally though, when you do setups, you want to coordinate it ahead of time rather than on the spot. Uh, I've stunned in 5 seconds. Yeah, my ink capillar. And you do something else, MC or anything. Oh, he's pre-running actually. Let's rewind to the beginning of this interaction. The enemy priest has greater fade ready, which means his priest can't possibly just run at them and land a fear for free, since greater fade is going to cause him to be immune. Additionally, his priest is getting slowed by the rogue, making it extra difficult. Thus, MVQ has to combo an instant CC onto the enemy healer to guarantee the psychic scream's going to land. And since Fell Eruption is the one ability ready, he checks his priest's Psychic Scream cooldown and communicates exactly when he wants to do the setup of Fell Eruption into Psychic Scream. Insane fear, bro. Through a duel. Good Coordinating setups is something that the best players do. Waz is probably one of the best in the world when it comes to managing his team's setups. He got me out. What the f Exactly where I stood. I pre melt, pre melt, pre melt, pre melt. I kick ring, I kick ring, I vanish. Yes, yes, I vanish TB. I stopped the go, I stopped the go, yes. I cannot stop man games though. I stunned the go, 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 go. Since Waz is playing a rogue, he has the tool set to set up his mage to land CC on the enemy healer, which is showcased beautifully in this clip. Regardless of what comp you're playing, communication helps direct your team's win conditions considerably. If you want to have the most success in LFG, it's essential to coordinate your setups with voice. For the third and final game, we're going to highlight carrying an LFG by simply sharing knowledge that your team may not know. It's a one-shot rogue. He's playing a one-shot spec. Um, so basically, as soon as Vendetta hits, you have to use PS on whoever he's going instantly. It's very important. Um, since he's playing this build, I'm going to go rogue because he cannot use Vanish. Um, he wants to go you. Alright, so be ready to PS, okay? On yourself. PS, 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 PS. Perfect. I trigger it. I get it. Dark. They use, uh, I, use, I use everything. It's fine. Some builds in WoW rely on cheesing the enemy with one shots. But as long as you know they're coming, you should be fine. Luckily, with Assassination Rogue, you can tell whether they're cheese spec or not by checking for the Hidden Blades and Master Assassin buffs. And since these specs sacrifice consistent damage in order to function, Simply surviving their attempt at cheesing you should result in winning, since their kill pressure drops off completely. So, to summarize, if you're a player that's struggling in LFG and you feel like you're being held back by your partners, try to apply these three core communication concepts. Firstly, look to manage your partner's cooldowns. CD training is hard, but also one of the most important aspects of WoW Arena. If you can solve the CD trades for your team, you can avoid unnecessary losses. Secondly, be confident and take control. Don't sit around and wait for your teammates to land their CC. Instead, 
create a scenario for them to land their crowd control and coordinate things ahead of time. And lastly, don't tilt, but instead, share your knowledge. Knowledge is everything. If a player isn't aware of the threat that awaits them, then they'll have no fair chance of fighting it off. So, if you think you know something your teammates don't, just let them know. And once again, if you're looking to learn more about this concept, we got you covered with an exclusive companion course available only at skillcap.com. Take advantage of our 250 rating game guarantee and start your PvP journey today with the discount link below. LFG is a struggle, but there's definitely steps you can take to make it a more pleasing experience for yourself and your partners. We hope this video helped you gain some perspective on what's possible simply through the power of communication. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, see ya.